Bye, Bangkok. Bye, Bangkok. Off to the airport, then the island, but it's nice knowing ya. Six o'clock, we got our McDonald's breakfast going on here. Woke up at 4.45 to leave the Bangkok Airbnb, so get some coffee, play boards in one hour, and then we are off to the next stop where we catch a bus to the ferry to the island. The sun is not up yet, but got the day cracking. First island we're heading to is Koh Phangan, and then we're heading to Koh Tao. getting a little gray outside. That's kind of weird. So Luke looks at the weather. Look at this. We hadn't even looked at the weather yet, but these are what the next five days in Copenhagen looks like. Jeez Louise. We are off to the ferry to Copenhagen. We've got a two hour ferry ride ahead of us here, so let's get out of here. It's hot and humid and we're ready for the island. Yay! Island life. <laughs> Sunny's on. All right, so it's the next day. We got in yesterday by ferry to Copenhagen. So once we arrived to the ferry dock, uh, we got offered to take a motorcycle taxi to our <laughs> hotel, which was like a 20 minute drive. So when in Thailand, why not take a motorcycle with your luggage to your hotel? <laughs> So they took us each on our own motorcycle and they put our huge suitcase right in front of them in between them and the handlebars and they took us 20 minutes to our hotel here which was actually pretty terrifying but pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, it was quite the ride. And then we got to one really steep hill where my motorcycle guy couldn't even get a good run at it so it was puttering out and we almost stalled the top of the hill to the point where he said, get off, get off. Started to jump off the back of the bike on this big hill with traffic going. And I gave him a little run push to get to the top of the hill before we jump back on. Meanwhile, I'm at the top of the hill. I can't see what's happening. And I'm looking back and like, where's Luke? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. But otherwise it was beautiful. A great little ride and a good way to experience the island for the first time getting here. Some really stunning views. So we're laying in the sun right now. Probably get some editing in mid-afternoon. Apparently a rainstorm is supposed to be moving through in a little bit here. So check out this view and then we'll keep you posted. all day every day but it hasn't rained yet. Anyways there's not many people out on the beach yet so I'm gonna do some yoga. Look at this, we got a little friend outside.
everybody needs water. You're so nice. Taking care of the kitties. I got a kitty in my own back home, see? Yes, drink my water. Drink my water, my precious. Ooh, beach time, beautiful day out. We made another patio friend. Hi, puppy. <laughs> this is Oscar. He is our stray cat friend that we have found. He's a little chatty at times. I think he found us. That's true, he found us. He's a very nice kitty. He's probably a little dirty, so we keep washing our hands after we pet him, but... Hey. Yes. Good Oscar. Hey. We've been here for two days now, and we thought we had the sun figured out. We've been kind of going to the beach in the morning, lay in the sun, jump in the waves, lay in the sun, come back and shower off and then explore town. No sunburn. It's all been working out great. We've just been enjoying island life. And then today we tried the same thing except for we got sunburned. We laid in the sun for like two an hours, two and a half hours. And then we went out and kind of walked around town for like, probably like, 15, 20 minutes to go get lunch. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> we literally laid in the sun multiple hours and got like minimal tanning and then going to get lunch we got sunburned. Look at this. I'm a baked tomato. Literally put on a shirt to go for lunch and then suddenly you've got that bad of burn lines. We're cooking here in Thailand, but it's been great so far. The weather forecasters were right for once. We have our first rain. Rain in Copenhagen. Not that I'm excited about it, but it just started downpouring like all of a sudden. That's that tropical rainstorm comes out of nowhere. And just like that, we're back to beautiful weather. Hello, hello. So we just had lunch at the Rock Bar and Grill. It's at the end of Hadron Nock. It was very delicious, had a great view, and the menu is huge. Yeah, you got French, Mexican, burgers, Thai food, quiches, literally any kind of food, Indian, everything you could think of they had there, Italian, so. Yeah, and pretty good prices too, so, and very friendly stuff. So if you're in Copenhagen, you might want to check out The Rock. Pretty nice spot. Now, jump in the water. Last day in Copenhagen here for the full day. Haven't been up to a whole lot of crazy stuff here, just a whole lot of beach life. It's beautiful here. We came just after the full moon party ended, so all the crazy party people have left. With the party crowd gone, there is plenty of beach to go around for the leftover people, so. Really nice beaches, great waves and wind coming through. It's beautiful with like having your own little wave pool there, so that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, after three weeks in Thailand, it's nice to finally get to the Thai islands here and relax. Yeah, no more city, no more playing Frogger, running in between cars, running all through the traffic. Just walking the beach everywhere we go. There's plenty of restaurants all along the beach here, so you got a nice ocean breeze, watch the sunset. Had a few nice meals out there. We've been chilling beach life.
Beach life is lovely. Yep. I have to get in the water before I burn to death. Yeah, we're cooking. Time to go for a dump. To my wallet. This is just not the most beautiful place you've ever seen. Copenhagen is stunning. Just don't come during the full moon party time if that's not your thing. Just come right after and you have the island to yourself. Not yourself, but this is nice. Tune in next time when we hop from one island to the next and go to Koh Tao, the neighboring island, and check out our hillside bungalow. Thanks so much for watching, and hit subscribe if you'd like to join us on some more adventures. And also, say hi in the comments. Thanks! <laughs>